50 degrees at Intensityville last night for our late night chess session. Oh, T Roy back in the house. I don't know if you guys remember him. There's a little sneak peek at the pre workout commercial slash video I did with the Ratchet Strength Project a couple of weeks back. So stay tuned for that. Uh, yesterday was buys and tries, and our new program, if you've been following along, is a chest bicep workout. But since we just did buys and tries yesterday, we're going to skip on the buys, go straight to the chest. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Start out with the inclined flies. That's what I always like to start out with. O.T. Roy getting it in there. All the band is back together. Man, you guys remember about five years ago when I first started YouTube, Troy and Jeremy were my workout partners while Strongman Seth was recording. And we can blame Strongman Seth for me still being on YouTube five years later. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for pushing me in and getting these videos going and keeping me in shape and accountable for my physique. Now you'll notice that we are all in the same inclined position for this inclined fly and you just want to make sure that you know you don't have to be so high, you don't have to be so low. Find out the right angle that helps you and make sure that you turn your hands the right way to get the right stretch, the right range of motion for your mobility and your shoulders and your elbows and get that, that chest stretched out and warmed up and ready to go and even when you go really heavy, make sure everything's right. Moving on to the peg deck, still kind of light. It's actually a different exercise, just like I've said in the past. So we're starting out semi light, and again, it's 50 degrees. Got some sweats on, so we're taking our time. Not trying to break any records. Definitely not going for any PRs tonight. Getting everybody back together. It's good to have you back, Troy. We're going to see him probably in the future videos. He's going to drive down uh, from Dallas to crush it with us every now and then. So. Looking forward to that. Here we go, a little bit heavier on the peg deck. Nice and controlled, nothing really fast. Muscles are still cold. And you know what? Shout out to Static X for the amazing music that they brought to Intensityville. Really love the music. Rest in peace, my brother Wayne Static. On for Jeremy's set. As a matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, cranking up the Static X there. t Roy caught me dancing a little jig there in between sets. t Roy still warming up. And I'm telling you guys, you know, these corporate gyms that have it too hot in there during the wintertime and too cold in the summertime, you know, we're no different. It's too cold in the wintertime and too hot in the summertime. So you adapt and you overcome, you improvise, you get you some sweats on when it's cold, and you take your sweat top off when it's hot. As long as you got the right equipment and the right mindset, you can get an entirely incredible, intense, amazing pump. Build some muscle at Intensityville. Here we go. Jeremy's getting a little bit nastier. That was actually his set. And I believe I missed, because the camera was dying, I had to plug in. We got two extra heavy-duty sets there. I believe we were about 120 to 150 pounds on that stack. And I normally max out the peg deck stacks everywhere I go. But, boy, let me tell you, you come to Intensityville, you try to max that stack out, that bad boy is about 300 pounds. <laughs> so come on down and give it a try. Giving Jeremy a little instruction there. It's decline dumbbell press. I love this exercise. Again, we're staying away from the barbells on this day. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but we're definitely not going to do barbells today using dumbbells. And make sure when you're doing the decline press, you do the dumbbells the same way you do a barbell. Right there at the lower part of the chest, and then when you come up, you're going straight to the ceiling. You start going too far backwards or too far forward, you're going to start hurting your rotator cuffs and getting out of balance and ultimately dropping those dumbbells, especially if you don't have a spot. It's really good to have a spotter, especially when you're going heavy. It's kind of hard to get in there, lay back right, get the dumbbells positioned right. Make sure that, again, you guys are going heavy. Use safety. Make sure there's a spotter with you. Now, here we go, the last couple of sets. Jeremy's got his groove on. He knows exactly where he needs to go to feel it just right. O.T. Roy has his groove on. I've been going just right, and we're finishing up. Really feeling the lower outside and the upper pecs. I really like that decline press for the best overall chest development. You can talk to a lot of these professional bodybuilders and a lot of the gurus out there that have written books and doctors and even some of the YouTube guys. They'll agree with you that that lower decline press is nasty. It really attacks the entire chest. The best, my favorite. I've done a lot of the exercises. Here we go with the last set. O.T. Roar helping me out there with those decline dumbbells, getting me set up, man back, watching me closely, controlling the weight. You know, probably could have done the 120s or even 150s, but again, a little bit colder outside. First day of actual 
having to wear the sweats, not really going for any records, definitely not using the barbell, and controlling all the reps on the descent, exploding up, little pause at the bottom, squeezing at the top, and I'm talking right now, this is about 10 hours later, and I'm already extremely tight doing this voiceover. Hope you guys are enjoying the voiceovers. Let me know if there's anything else that we can do to make these videos good for you guys. Appreciate all the support. Okay, last exercise. Incline dumbbell press. I'm sorry, it's not the last exercise, second to last exercise. But we go from the decline dumbbells to the incline dumbbells, attacking the chest at different angles. Upper flies, uh, regular peck deck flies, decline dumbbells, incline dumbbells. And man, I'm telling you, I'm just about smoked here from all the control. And see, we're still carrying it down nice and easy. Pausing just there at the bottom, exploding at the top, a little squeeze. That's gonna help, excuse me, that's gonna help shape those muscles a little bit better. Especially if it's a little bit lighter of a day, you know, going crazy. Jeremy with his inclined dumbbell presses. And I'm gonna tell you again, when you see people turn their hands sideways or uh, when you watch me do with my hands uh, up and down, or even if somebody has a different angle, you know, for one, Ask them if you're under, if you don't Jack understand what they're doing. Ask them why are you doing it that way. Will it help me if I do it this way? Or you know, talk to them in the gym and compare notes. Don't be afraid to talk to somebody that's stronger than you or somebody that's weaker than you. You guys, again, brothers and sisters in iron, start helping each other out. It's our job, especially if you've been in the gym for a little bit longer than the next guy to take notes and to share notes and to help each other grow with intensity, safe and positive intensity. Here's our last exercise. We superset it, and I like to do the supersets on the days that I'm not going crazy, and sometimes I'll add it on the crazy days too, but I like to do this press. Wanted to do a press, definitely not the barbell, but the hammer, loved that machine. We did about 20 reps, jumped over, superset with the dips, and it was definitely time to go home after this. I did a set, Jeremy did his set, T-Roy did his set, and stay tuned Good for the control. end here. I actually Order. did a triple drop. <laughs> that intensity, Big J's intensity pre-workout, keep you going for a little while. I took half a scoop tonight and uh, got me rocking and rolling. T-Roy enjoyed it. He took some of it for his first time tonight. I think he's going to pick himself up some. And OJC's addicted to it, just like I am. Good pina colada taste. There's our drop set. Got the uh, plates. This is a good handy tip for you, too. See how the plates are spread out? If you're really trying to do a real drop set, not taking too much time in between, spread them out, especially on a machine that's not going to fall off left to right because of the imbalance. It only goes up and down one way, and it's uh, evenly uh, rotating up and down. You can reach in there, especially if you've got one guy recording or nobody's recording and nobody's even helping. You can reach on each side, grab them, chuck them off. Now, you make sure you don't drop them on carpet or a corporate gym. If you're in a gym like Metroflex or Intensity, you can uh, definitely sling them around. Now, there's the drop set. Finishing up with the dips, and boy, I was smoked. I started doing the running man there at the end of the bicycle. <laughs> that was it for me. Old Jeremy on his last set, doing a drop set with uh, a couple of quarters and a dime, I believe, is what he had on there. And that's all he needed. Gotta make sure that you don't hurt yourself with these drop sets. I'm telling you, your muscles will fatigue extremely fast. And on the machines, you'll be okay. okay. A lot of people do the drop sets on free bar or using the dumbbells or whatnot. Again, the bottom line is safety. Make sure you're crushing that iron with intensity, but if you hurt yourself, you're gonna put yourself out of the gym for a few days, a few weeks, or a few months. So let's stay safe, brothers and sisters. Here he is, last drop, go, headed to the dips, finishing up. <laughs> and, you know, it's it's obviously going to be a bad set. You know, I barely got three or four reps, and I was hardly going down. You know, I wasn't even making parallel. And that was it. He was done with his. It's time for a little one more. <laughs> Love the toadies. Shout out to those brothers in Iron. They work out too. As a matter of fact, I saw them years and years ago at the Texas, I don't know if it's called the Texas Jam or whatever it was, Edge Fest. Went out there about seven or eight years ago. Intense guys. There's Troy finishing up his last drop set. 
Now, Hammer can. strength chest Boy. press. You see that incline oh, press in the fast. background there? Love those machines. I actually yeah. bought those machines after one of my surgeries about 20 years ago <laughs> to help me recover and get back Come underneath on. some weight. Come on. My favorite for chest. Go. And see what yeah. Troy's doing Go. here? Go. He's doing some negative. <laughs> if you can't push up, let yourself down slow. There's our post workout meal. Appreciate you guys taking me out to Denny's for my Veterans Day meal. And we will see you guys soon. Look at what they had there. Turkey and dressing and potatoes and <laughs> broccoli and all that good stuff. A picture of us. Guys, appreciate you watching. Got a couple of uh, things to talk to you about real quick. That's one of the first videos that we did back five years ago. I'll put that link in the description box. T-Roy holding those plates on me for tricep pushdowns. And here's the big news. These shirts have been revectorized. This is being printed for the hoodies now. If you ordered and pay for your hoodies, it will be with you in the next week or so. That's the old design. And when it came out, it just didn't look good. I pushed it back twice. And but the picture that you just saw is what you're going to get on your T-shirts. Now make sure, on the, or the hoodies. Now make sure you know that the T-shirts are still available. Ironesthetics.com. Carrying all that stuff for you. And winter time, just in time for you guys to get a beanie if you're interested. Till next time, 10 City Rules Train Hardcore. Check the description box for everything I just talked about. And we'll see you next video.